Yo, what's up, guys? Undefeated in the building. BMF in the building. Never lost a round. Never lost a minute. Never lost a second in the building, man. T in the building. Hey, I hope you guys are doing great, man. We're gonna. I'm gonna start a new series today. Um, this is gonna be the first episode. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna upload it in chronological order. I mean, like in terms of the weights and stuff. But um, it's gonna be the first episode to my goats in every single weight class um series that I'm start. And when I say goats in every single weight class, I'm majorly saying like a like consensus like there's most weight classes there's a consensus person people call goat or if there's like two people or three people that you know people normally call goat i'll like pick the person i think the goat is um and for wow well, just tagging me and for welterweight i think it's clearly gsp but um but in terms of uh people coming up now obviously you got usman usman coming up the ranks but uh, of course i think the goat is uh, gsp i think a lot of people can agree you know but um you know it's just the way gsp fought he was he was super. He was super cautious. He I believe he only lost two fights: one to Matt Sarah and another to Matt Hughes. You know, the crest of the match. But um, he just played really smart, kept the technical, and really utilized his wrestling. And we're, I'm gonna try to emulate that here. Really, I'm gonna try to emulate that sidestep that. Go to the head here. I'm gonna really try to emulate that front kick. Pivot here. We're really trying to emulate his style here. So we're gonna go for those those double legs and of course GSP has the best last double leg in, in I think MMA history just the way he was able to duck under punches which I, you can't really emulate too well in this game but uh we're gonna try to get that he would, he would like you throw a jab or a straight he just duck under so we can emulate that hold on and he, he would also slam the low kick so we tried to do it right there we didn't let us do it he would he loved the superman punch fucking so this person clearly block breaking uh, lag spike right there. It is it is uh pretty laggy. Not gonna lie, it's pretty laggy. But let me see if I can um, Jesus. Let me see if I can throw that Superman punch here. If you, I'm not sure how to throw it. I think it's uh there it is. I think this is a spinning body kick. Boom, boom. And he would do combinations like the Superman punch into the lead hook. Let me let me stop getting so kick happy. The GSP. Let's throw that double leg out there. Okay, so he pre denied that one. Uh, but who do you guys think that uh, welterweight goat is? And every one of these weight weight um, weight classes, every one of these episodes, I want to start a discussion, right? I really want to start a discussion. You know, it, I, I'm not saying he is the definite goat, in, unless it's like you know something pretty clear. Like I do think GSP is clearly definite goat in welterweight. Like who's you know what I mean? Who's more? Who's better? You know, a better goat uh, application or you know resume, you know, than GSP? Ooh, slip that. Boom. I should have done a lot more damage. There. Spinny kick out there. Oh, and actually, in these fights, we're also going to try to emulate the fighter's style to the best of our ability. So whether that, you know, takes me, like, looking up some tape or... I'm going to try to avoid being as meta as possible and try to fight exactly how the fighters fight. But, yeah, that's, that's going to be the uh, goal of this. It's just to start a conversation. You know, who do you guys think the GOAT is in, every, in, in the welterweight division? You know, who do you guys think the GOAT is in the welterweight division? You know, next we'll probably get a middleweight fight in. Um, I'm going to be using... I'll surprise you guys on who I'm using, unless it's in the thumbnail, which it probably will be. But, I mean, I'll just say it. I'm thinking the middleweight GOAT. I'm going to go with Israel Adis Not Israel Adis Uh Silly me. Um, Anderson Silva. But the thing is, right, do you guys not consider people GOATs if they use, you know, performance-enhancing drugs or things like that? I'm going to take that out of the conversation. You know, I'm going to take that out of the conversation and um, for this series, but maybe next, you know, next time we can do next series, when we do this again, we can do, you know, clean goats or something of the weight classes, you know, clean people that haven't popped, you know, but uh, I think welterweight clear cut GSP hasn't popped for anything. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward. The only person that's coming close right now, in my opinion, is Kamar Usman in a, in a recent, you know, Tyron Woodley was talking about being... You know, talked about as in the same in the same sentence as GSP. Make a plea, respectfully. But um, this guy isn't pressing the X button, which is kind of weird. But all right, here we go to the next round. But yeah, so I'm gonna emulate GSP style. I'm gonna try to wrestle as much as I can. Uh, stick to that jab. GSP had a beautiful jab. He maintained distance with. Really underrated thing about GSP is his jab. Not his jab, but his distance management. Man, the way he managed distance with that jab. I'm not gonna spam it, but ooh, throw that spinning kick right there. He's moving his head. Really didn't mean to throw that. I'm trying to do that right there. Superman punch. Caught right there. We're gonna shoot in pretty soon. Let's throw that head kick. Oh, all right. Watch 
Watch out for this front kick, it might come. Nope, there's a leg kick. I'm trying to bait him to throw, make him waste his stamina so we can fire off some strikes to the head. It's a little laggy, so it's hard to uh, get stuff off reaction here. But um, y'all let me know in the comments, right? I'm probably gonna do two in one episode. But after this episode, would you rather me do focus it on one person to get as many fights with that one person? Or would you guys like me to do like two different people in one episode? So maybe like an you know, depending on how long the fight is, a fight, you know, a fight each person. He's sidestepping. So we're gonna have to throw that the low kick out there, a nice front kick. Will he double up though? I'm trying to gauge it. There we go. I'm trying to gauge the timing for the takedown and we get it. A little bit of lag to come with it. Deny that right there. We're gonna try to work McGregor here on the ground. Respect the McGregor pick in uh, Welterweight. You don't see that too often. Nice. Just that side control. I suck at denying that when it comes to... Um, GSP was more of a uh, control type of guy. I'm not going to pull Guardian. That's a little too... Yeah. GSP would have went for a slam there. Like I said, I'm not trying to be meta or anything. Because I was being meta, then uh, I would have like, pulled guard there or something. But nah, man. Attack that leg. Oh, nice. Sidestep that. Stay behind the jab. GSP would try to keep like a, a good distance because GSP had a reach now. GSP, oh, slip that, sway hook back right there. Let's do two to the head, uppercut on the break. Boom, boom. Let's go jab, jab, straight. Tagging him here, so that low kick. And I'm not gonna, I'm just actually, I'm gonna try to avoid throwing calf kicks too because GSP wasn't throwing calf kicks back in the day. No one, not that many people were. Ben Henderson and a few others were, but GSP was throwing that, uh, he was throwing a he was throwing a regular old fashioned low, low a leg kick, which you don't see too often anymore. It's, a lot of people are converting to calf kicks for you know obvious reasons. Boom. Let's see if we can get that that Superman punch low kick in there. Superman punch. Oh no, it doesn't. So look straight low kick. Really trying to work it and shooting that takedown. So strikes like that, good denial. Strikes like that are probably going to be our um, our cue. What is this man doing? Strikes like that are probably going to be our cue, like an uppercut or a front kick. This is probably going to be our cue to um, whiff right there. I'm going to be our cue to shoot with GSP, because I'm really not trying to run into something like that. And the off chance he does like a double uppercut or something. Oh, nice slip straight. Okay, so he's adapting to our style. So the head kick up top, caught him clean, body uppercut, straight, straight, jab, Superman punch, hook, straight, head kick, catch him right there, jab, Superman punch. Ooh, catches us right there. Way back on that. Let's let a spinning body kick. Nope, miss right there. We have to we have to move our head a lot off the center line because boom, almost almost rock him there the second hook man. Catch him with a straight right there. The intercept look like it's gonna throw something big. So we have to move our head a lot, especially against the Conor McGregor because if you don't, boom, that beautiful sway back uh, hook we landed right there. If you don't sway your head a lot or keep your head off the center line. You're gonna get you're gonna get your block broken in this game. It's just it's got to the point where everybody and their mama does it, and I I, I understand I understand it is what it is you know. So uh, yeah I, I think I think um, GSP was just a really good example, nice of a true martial artist man. Nice drops us right there, Jesus. Okay. Got him there. Jab jab straight uppercut. Drop him down. We're not yeah we're not gonna waste any time. Um, let's watch out for this front kick or something coming up here. We're gonna try to catch him here. Try to keep it clean. Clinch him up. Knee. It's actually going for the takedown. Oh, second. I didn't mean to knee, knee him twice. Okay, I'm trying to sidestep that. Look straight. So he sides, he's uh, swaying a lot. Let's do look, jab straight. Uppercut, uppercut. Hook. Jab, hook. Let's go for the takedown. Oh, beautiful takedown shot right there. And no way he was denying that. Let's go straight for Crucifix. Nice denial. Nice. I didn't have time to do anything with us. Trish it to the right here. Get it. All right, I'm going to go up here right to this full guard. Okay, we're going to go to right there. Back mount. Got his back. Boom. 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 Nice. Okay. This is where we want to be. Get the posture up. I don't, I'm going to advise that. Oh, nice. Oh, we lean right into that. Lean right into that. Okay, as long as we don't let him up, I'm fine. I'm gonna posture straight up here. Let's do hook, straight. Okay, so we're gonna avoid throwing hooks against this man. Nice job. We're gonna fake to the left right here, posture up. This man, nice. So his defense really revolves around swaying his head a lot and baiting out, baiting, baiting your hooks, and baiting your straights. 
Let's go to the head right here. No? Okay. Break off on accident. Really adjusting to everything he's doing here. Low kick, hook. He's resort to bobblehead mode like most people do in this game. Jab, jab. Gonna throw the straight there, we decided against it. Don't throw anything stupid, don't do it. Jab, hook. Hook, hook, hook. Oh, okay. Leg kick. Ooh, catches us by clean straight, sits us down. Yeah, Chad, this is not a uh, GSP S performance, man, but y'all gotta y'all gotta understand, man. It's UFC 4. It's UFC 4, bro. UFC 4. Make him transition, get that denial there. Let's go straight to top mount. Straight to top mount, not waste any time. Ooh, free denial too. Free denial. Wait a second. Oh no, sir. No, sir. Posture up. Go straight. Hook. 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 Straight. Straight, hook, and in the fight. Um, not as clean as it could have been. I, I don't think I did GSP the most justice, but it kind of emulated the style in terms of trying to stay safe, low kick, Superman punches, um, wrestling whenever he had the opportunity. I was really, I really was trying to press the wrestling right there. But um, we're gonna we're gonna get right back with you guys with the mid middleweight division, and we're gonna use a middleweight goat. Keep in mind, um, I want you guys to let me know who you guys think the welterweight goat is, and also. Who you guys think the middleweight goat is and if in the future episodes would you rather me focus on one person or do the way i'm doing it now one fight each with you know the person i think the goat that that, that is the goat in that division all right you're right back with you guys in the next fight surprise surprise you're back with the uh next one and i think no surprise to anyone it's anderson silva this is the the i'm gonna do this series like i said with the ones that have popped before and then i'm gonna do the ones with, with the clean goats you know what i mean the people i think you know clean goats um, respect to this guy for choosing Michael Bisping, you know, it's something different. I thought I would see a Robert Whittaker, you know, I was pretty certain, but we're gonna try to emulate Anderson style, style the best we can while playing this game, while also not getting KO'd. So, you know, please forgive me, I'm implementing a lot of feints, um, a lot of body work in terms of just, just mixing it up, you know. Give him something to think about. That low kick right there, nice return right there. Straight off down the pipe. Nice. Body kick catches him. Boom. And what I want you guys to do is, right? So, also, of course, tell me the which, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to just respect. I didn't mean to do that, but. Boo! Boo! Clean work right here. But a low kick. Anderson would actually really, he would choose to keep his back against the cage and stay, and stay back and counter. But this game, it's that's I'm not saying it's not possible. That's not viable in this game. It's really not. It's really not that viable in this game. This body kick blocks it right there. Low kick. Trying to trying our best to counter. Oh, digs to the body right there. That's what people should do, honestly. People should people should dig. That also reminds me of like Adesanya. Like people should dig to his body, and not throw super power punches. Just try to touch him when he's against the cage. People did that against Anderson Silva. People did that against, um, you know, Adesanya. They'd have a lot more success. That's what um, my man Chris Weidman did against Adesanya. I mean, not against Adesanya, excuse me. Against um, Anderson Silva, and he had, obviously, great success. But Anderson would put himself against the cage and just choose, you know, to opt to back up. Put a knee elbow right there to get him to back up. Put a head kick right here. Nice. Low kick. Oh, I tried to sway the uppercut, but it's still tracking it for some reason. We're getting out there. Knee right there. So he's staying in our space, so we're just gonna blast his body here. Oh, nice. Nice, okay, drops us right here against the cage. This is the problem with using Anderson Silva, man. The chin, the stuff like that, you gotta keep it real clean, man. Really gotta keep it clean. Tagging me here. Oh, beautiful mix up to the ground here. We're gonna go straight into full guard, I believe he has it. No, he doesn't, wow. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a, we're in a bind here, it seems. And win or lose, I'm gonna post a fight. Win or lose, okay, I like this guy. I like this guy, just keeping it MMA. Pretty uh, block, you know, heavy on the block, but nice. Double elbow, trying to really make him pay for just walking forward. Hit him with the push attacks, nice. Mm -hmm. Low kick right there. Trying to impede his movement, nice. Nice, good work from this guy. 
Tried to faint that, it didn't let me. I'm getting worked by this Bisping. Wow, wow, bro. It's just a heavy block breaking with a, you know, me trying to counter. It's just not a good match right here. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do this man justice, but Jesus, bro, I tried to sway. Oh my God. Wow, we're, hopefully we're able to survive the round. Okay, we're able to survive the round. Um, so when I was against the cage, I tried to hold R2 and L2 and use the wizard to get off the cage, but I wasn't able to. Now, keep in mind, guys, I said I'm going to use the goats. That doesn't mean the goats are, don't have, like they have the legend status in there. In the, you know, in the game. We're going to try to make the necessary adjustments. Um, we're going to try our best. But. This man's uh, being very smart with his approach. I really, I try to duck the um, the hook. Y'all see, y'all see that, y'all see it, chat. He's, it's just, he's just using the meta, chat. I'm going to keep this on, I'm going to keep this, um, I'm keeping this in the video regardless, win or lose. You know, he's fighting super meta right now. It's fine. You know, it, it, that's what that's to be expected. Respect, respect the pick for, you know, Bisping. But, um. Duck that hook. Catch him there. Anderson really doesn't have power in this game. I sweat, bro. It's like not giving me, it's not giving me my counters. Like, come on, G. This is down here. This might be the end of it, folks. Able to sway that right there. It'll survive. Trying our best to survive here. Um, my best bet, really, is to make us like a... Oh, nice. That's not my best bet. Hold on, chat. Smart. Chat, my best bet here, honestly, is to just make this a... Uh, uh, try to point fight, I believe. Because we have... No, nah, even then I'm going to lose... Maybe uh, Anderson Silva type of submission here? We'll see. Maybe I can get a denial uh, on this up transition and get a triangle. Nope, doesn't let me get it. Try to block counter? Nope. Sheesh! That man put me to sleep, chat. I say chat, I'm so, so I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so used to um, streaming. But um, we lost that fight, but in the spirit of Anderson Silva, I'm not trying to go out like that. It's super hard to use this guy. And that was a good opportunity because he was using Bisping. But um, but you know what? You know what? We're going to do one more with Anderson Silva. We're going to try our best, our very hardest, to get a W with Anderson Silva. Keep in mind, it's not the easiest thing to do, but let's go. Yo, chat, if you guys have made it this far, man, drop a, drop a, uh, let me think. Drop a, drop a pineapple in the chat, man. Drop a pineapple in the chat. I keep saying chat, man. Come on. In the comments, y'all. Leave a like, man. It really, it really helps out the channel a lot if you leave a like. Um, we're going to try very hard here to get a W, but this guy's using a creative fighter, as you can see. I'm using Anderson Silva. And uh, we're, it's obviously competitive with these, me and this man. Considering he has a, uh, a win on me. Okay, so I see where this is going to go, chat. I can already see where this is going to go. So we're going to have to discern the low kicks and the um, like the body work from this man from the spinning head kick that's pretty... Uh, oh, no, this gets that cool. Okay. So this guy's whole thing is to just be disrespectful or whatever, and you know what I mean? But we're going to try our best to combat this. Gets that. Okay. So he gets up. Attack that leg. Like, low kick, boom. Switch kick. Okay. I think, I know, I think it's, I think I should keep this in here. I think, I'm not even going to, you know. Try to try to try a little trick I've learned to uh, avoid that, but you know, it didn't work out. Still gonna make, keep mixing them up. Do it, do it, do. It. I'm gonna play to my strengths, you know. Play to my strengths. Get the drop right here. Two to the body. Boom. On the head. Sit him down. Uh, right into a front kick. Not a front kick. An up kick. Go straight. No switch stances. It's not very interesting. Silver like. Really trying our best to catch this man. Also, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep doing like simple combinations, jab straights, uh, jab uh, low kicks. Cause if I don't, these switch kicks, these knees to the body are just gonna eat me alive, ladies and gentlemen. You know, so, so he's doing this right now, but he's doing my full stamina. Ducks right into that. Boom, catch him right there. Ooh, beautiful Anderson Silva-like knockout sends the cheeser to the shadow realm. 
Now that, that deserves a like, ladies and gentlemen. That deserves a like, ladies and gentlemen. He shoots in for a takedown, and look, the classic Anderson, yes sir. Shoots in for a takedown, knee him on the entry, stumbles back, shoots for another one, I believe. Boom! Just catch him clean with that front kick, send him to the shadow realm. Send him directly to the shadow realm. Hey man, you guys put who your favorite middleweight is, not your favorite, who you think the, the GOAT is in middleweight, who you think the GOAT is in welterweight, uh, leave a like, comment, you know, tell me if I played, you know, if I played somewhat sim, like, did I do a good job of emulating their styles? Who you guys think the, you know, in the next in the next episode, who you guys think the, you know, the GOAT is in, in Bantamweight and Flyweight and, and Welter, you know, already oh, did Welter, I'm done, and Heavyweight, you know what I mean? You guys let me know, man. Drop your GOAT list, actually. Drop your GOAT list in the comments. Your, your, your all-time, whether it's clean or not, GOAT list. Let me know. For every weight class, I want to see, I want to see some lists, man. Appreciate you guys for the support, man. I'll be back with the next one.